Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today we have an instrument that is one of my favorites. It's kind of got an offset body like a jazz master, and I've been two for two right now with Slash. He's bought two of these, and they're very cool. Um, kind of opens up your mind to something different, and uh, it's just surprising that he bought a Fender offset, which is pretty cool. So what is it? Let's check it out. These are really, really fun instruments. This is a 26... Teen <laughs> Fender <laughs> Custom Shop Base Six in Candy Apple Red. Ooh. Whoa, with the tortoise guard. It is red for life. <laughs> red, red, red. Right? I mean, look at this yeah, thing. Yeah, it's super red. Ooh. Whoa. It's cleaner than ever. Um, but a really, really, really cool instrument to utilize. Um, it's also an NOS, which means new old stock. So there's some parts in there um, that could have been from an older instrument. Um, I know the neck kind of has a, a really natural kind of vibe that seems like it has some history to it. So maybe the neck is something. But they don't really specify what is old and what is new on it. Um, but they do utilize the parts. So it's an offset alder body. And it weighs about 9.4 pounds, um, and it's got the veneer um, rosewood fingerboard. Um, but it's really cool because, like I said before in episodes, it's tuned to E to E. So you can play it just like a regular guitar, all your chords, even like major sevenths, minor sevenths, which on a bass is unheard of. Um, you got 21 medium frets with dot inlays. Um, I don't know, that's kind of the way I like it. I don't really tie over the fenders with the binding on the neck, but that's just me. Um, there's also uh, the three Jaguar-style pickups, the claw pickups, which, as you can see, they kind of have that silver thing that makes it look like a claw. But uh, Candy Apple Red being a really cool color, and they did this in 1961 till about 1975, but they're just so cool. I mean, you kind of can get that... I don't know, like post-punk, new wave sound with these, and, and also rock, rock and stuff. But there's the Custom Shop logo, um, and just a beautiful instrument. And the case is absolutely gorgeous, and it's more red. Mm -hmm. More red, and also it comes out with some really cool little things. You got your whammy bar and your mute, so you can really do some tricks with this thing. Um, you, we have our cer certificate um, with the original um, everything. Oh, we got it. And... Uh, cord, ashtray, and hang tags. This is a winner. So we're going to try to, I don't know, Slash has got two of them. So this can go to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to take it out front, but uh, really cool. One of my favorite instruments Fender ever has done. <laughs> 2016? <laughs> 2016? All right, I'm, I'm with it, don't worry. We're going to take it out front, see what we can do. Um, I think I'm gonna do some some different stuff today. Maybe, maybe some Billie Jean. Oh, I'll see you out there. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Does it look like? It? No. Okay, no worries. All right, we're out front with the 2016 Fender Custom Shop Base Six in Candy Apple Red with the Tortoise Guard. It's one of the reddest guitars I've ever seen. It's also one of my favorites, the Base Six. Um, we sold two of them to Slash so far. I think this one can go to someone else <laughs> because uh yeah he's got the first year one which is uh, really cool but this is still a special one um and i've never seen one in candy apple red uh we're also going through the 60s twin reverb um and we also have our drum track let's check it out
Now we'll go into middle pickup. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more, uh, kind of some famous bass lines in the rock and roll 80s era. Now we'll go into final with all three going. Uh, here we go. Check that. So these things are really cool for also like uh, new wave music or uh, post rock. Um, check it out. So we're going to put this in drop D. have it your base six from 2016 in candy apple red these guitars are great for the studio um if you're trying to layer anything or also you can play full chords too so uh check these guitars out at normansrareguitars.com and also on instagram and facebook i'm your host michael emma see you very soon bye